pharmaceutical engineering size reduction definition size reduction or combination is the process of reducing drugs vegetable and chemical substances into smaller pieces coarse particles or fine powders importance of particle size reduction the process of size reduction is commonly employed in pharmaceutical industries due to the following reasons to increase the rate of solution in case of chemical substances because reduction of particle size increase the surface area for the action of solvent second to allow the rapid penetration of the solvent that is menstrum in case of crude drugs for the extraction of active constituents from vegetable and animal drugs to get a uniform powder because particle size reduction help in uniform mixing of drugs required for preparing different formulation for administration to increase the rate of absorption of a drug the smaller the particle size greater is the rate of ab absorption fifth to improve the stability of certain pharmaceutical dosage form such as suspensions the rate of sedimentation decreases to a large extent by reducing the particle size of the drug sixth to help in the process of separation of solid from liquids by filtration or by sedimentation the rate of filtration or sedimentation depends upon the particle size factor affecting size reduction the following factor affect the process of size reduction first hardness and second toughness hardness of the material affect the process of size reduction it is easier to break soft material to a small size than hard material toughness the crude drugs or fibrous nature or those having higher moisture content are generally tough in size the soft but tough material may present more problem in solid redu size reduction than a hard but brittle substances stickiness stickiness because a lot of difficulty in size reduction this is due to the fact that material adheres to the grinding surface or sieve surface of the mill it is difficult to powder a drug of having gummy or resinous nature if the method used for size reduction generates heat complete dryness of material may help to overcome it difficulty then fourth one material structure materials which show some special structure may cause problem during size reduction example vegetable drugs which have cellular structure generally produce long fibrous particles on its size reduction similarly a mineral substances having a lines of weakness produces flakes like particles on its size reduction moisture content the presence of moisture in the particle influences a number of its properties such as hardness toughness or stickiness which in it turn affect the particle size reduction the material should be either dry or wet it should not be dumb the material having 5% moisture in case of dry grinding and 50% moisture in case of wet grinding does not create any problem softening temperature waxy substances such as stearic acid or drug containing oils or fats become softened during the size reduction processes if heat is generated this can be avoided by cooling the mill purity required Various mills used for size reduction often cause the grinding surface to wear off and thus impurities come in the powder. If a high degree of impurity is required, such as mills must be avoided. Moreover, the mills should be thoroughly cleaned between the batches of different material in order to maintain purity. Physiological effect: Some drugs are very potent during their particle size reduction in a mill. dust is produced which may have an effect on the operator in some cases the enclosed mill may also be used to avoid the dust then ninth ratio of feed size to produ product size to get a fine powder in a mill it is required that fairly small feed size should be used 
Hence, it is necessary to carry out a size reduction process in several stages using different equipment. Example, preliminary crushing followed by coarse powder and then fine grinding. Then bulk density. Output of size reduction of material in a machine depends upon bulk density of the substances. Methods of size reduction. The following are the methods of size reduction in which different mechanisms are involved. First, cutting. The material is cut on a small scale by means of sharp blade, knife, root but cutter or any other sharp instrument. On a large scale, a cutter mill is, mill is used. Cutting of drug is usually done to hasten the drying of drugs. Second, Compression. In this method, the material is crushed by the application of pressure on a small scale. Size reduction is carried out by using a pestle and mortar, whereas on a large scale, roller mill is used. Third, impact. Impact occurs when the material is more or less stationary or it is hit by an object moving at high speed or when the moving particles strike a stationary surface. In either case, the material breaks into small pieces. There is no apparatus which can be used on small scale to affect size reduction by impact. But on a large scale, hammer mill and disintegrator are used when size reduction of particle is done by impact. Then fourth, attrition. And fifth, combine impact and attrition. Cutter mill. Principle, the size reduction is done by cutting with the help of sharp knife. Construction, there are two types of knife which are fitted in this mill. These are stationary knife and rotating knife. The stationary knife are fixed in the casing where the rotating knife are attached to the rotor. The upper part of casing also contains Working, the material to be cut is put into the hopper of the mill. The rotor motor at the high speed, due to the rotation of motor, the material comes very close between stationary knife and rotating knife. It cut down the material into small pieces. Screen retain the material in the mill until the desired degree of size reduction has been affected. The product is collected which come out of the knife uses the mill is used to obtain a coarse degree of size reduction of soft material such as roots pills or wood before extraction compression mill roller mill principle the material is crushed by the application of pressure the mill work on the principle of compression of material by applying a pressure on it Construction, it consists of two cylindrical roller made up of stone or metal which are mounted horizontally. These rollers are capable of rotation on their longitudinal axis. This roller may be from a few centimeters up to a meters in diameters. Generally, one of the roller is driven directly where the second one run freely. Working, the material to be crushed is fed from the hopper into the gap between the two roller. Due to the rotation of this roller, the material is crushed. The gap between the roller can be adjusted to control the degree of size reduction. Uses, the roller mill is used for crushing and cracking of seeds before extraction of fixed oil from the same. It is also used to crush the soft tissue to help in the penetration of solvent during the extraction process. Impact Hammer Mill Principle It work on the principle of impact that is material is more or less stationary and is hit by an object moving at a high speed. Construction It consists of a stout metal casing enclosing a central shaft to which four or more swing hammers are attached. The lower part of the casing consists of screen through which material can pass and collected in a suitable receiver. Then the desired degree of size reduction is reached. Working, 
the material is put into the hopper which is connected with a drum the material is powdered to the desired size to do the fast rotation of hammer and is collected under the screen this mill has the advantages of continuous operation because the chance of jamming is less as the hammer are not fixed the mill can produce coarse to moderately fine powder as to high speed of operation heat is generated which may affect the thermolabile drugs of material or material moreover high speed of operation also cause damage to the mill if foreign object such as stone or metal is present in the feed uses the hammer mill is used for producing intermediate grade of powder from almost all types of substances except sticky material that choke the screen this is the actual diagram of hammer mill the disintegrator principle the size reduction in disintegrator is done by impact construction it consists of a steel drum having a shaft in the center the shaft consists contain a disc on which four beaters are fixed the shaft rotate with the speed of 5000 to 7000 uh, rotation per minute the side and upper inner surface of drum is rough and undulating the lower part of the drum has a detectable screen or sieve the sieve has a defined pore size working the beaten are mainly responsible for grinding but are helped by the undulation of the inner surface and toughness of drum the material is fed to beaten through hopper which is fitted to the drum the material is broken into small particles by impact of of the beater due to the high velocity of beater the air velocity inside the chamber is increased the air is allowed to pass through an outlet on which dust bag is tied which retain the fine particles of powder ball mill ball mill principle it work on the principle of impact and attrition construction it consists of a hollow cylinder which is mounted on a metallic frame in such a way that it can be rotated on its longitudinal axis the cylinder contain a ball that occupy 30 to 50% of the mill volume the weight of the ball is kept constant the ball size depends on the size of the feed and diameter of the mill the cylinder and balls are made up of metal and usually lined with chrome in pharmaceutical industry sometimes the cylinder of the ball mill is lined with rubber or porcelain the ball used in this mill are also made up of rubber or porcelain working the drugs to be ground is put into the cylinder of the mill and is rotated the speed of the rotation is very important at a low speed the mass of ball will slide or roll over each other and only a negligible amount of size reduction will occur at a high speed the ball will be thrown out then the wall of by centrifugal force and no grinding will occur but at about fit th uh, that is third of the speed the centrifugal force just occur with the result that balls are carried almost to the top of the mill and then fall in by this way the maximum size reduction is affected by the impact of particles between the ball and by attrition between the ball after a suitable time the material is taken out and passed through sieve to get powder of the required size uses The mill is used to grind bitter drug to fine powders. Advantages of ball mill: first, it can produce very fine powders; second, it can be used for continuous operation if sieves or classifier is attached to the mill; third, it is capable of grinding a large variety of material of different characters and of different degree of hardness; fourth, it is useful for both wet or dry. grinding processes fifth it can 
JB used to grind a toxic material as it can be used in a completely enclosed form. Disadvantages: the ball mill is a very noisy machine. Second, wear occur from the ball as well as from the casing, which may result in contamination of the product. This is a diagram of ball mill. fluid energy mill principle it work on the principle of impact and attraction construction it consists of a loop of pipe which has a diameter of 20 to 200 mm depending on the overall height of the loop which may be up to about 2 m there is an inlet for feed and a series of nozzle for the inlet of air or an inert gas it can has an outlet with a classifier which allows the air to escape from escape but prevent the particles to pass until uh, until they become sufficiently fine working the air or inlet gas is introduced with a very high pressure through the nozzles solids are introduced into air steam through inlet due to the high degree of turbulence impact and attraction attractional forces occur between the particles the fine particles are collected through the classifier so this is the diagram of fluid energy mill which reduce the particles to 1 to 20 microns to get a very fine powder even up to 5 microns the material is pretended to reduce the particle size to the order of 100 mesh and then passes through fluid energy mill uses the mill is used to grind a high sen heat sensitive material to tiny powder the mill is used to grind those drug in which high degree of purity is required advantages of fluid energy mill first the mill is used to grind the material to fine powder second the particle size of a powder can be controlled due to the use of classifier third there is no wear of the mill and there is no contamination of the product fourth it is useful for grinding high heat sensitive substances such as sulfonamides vitamins and antibiotics so here is the diagram of an fluid energy mill so next one is miscellaneous mill h runner mill principle the size reduction is done by crushing due to high heavy weight of stone and shearing force which is involved during the movement of the stones construction it consists of two heavy roller and a bed made up of stone or granite the roller have a central shaft and they involve in its axis the roller are mounted on horizontally shaft and move around the bed working the material to be ground is put on the bed and with the help of scraper it kept in the path of stone well the material is ground for a definite period and then it is passed through the sieve to get powder of required size use uses h runner mill is used for grinding most of the drugs to fine powder but it require more floor space than other common use mill the major advantages of this mill is that it requires less attrition during operation so here is the diagram of age runner mill so uh, general characteristics of various types of mills are given in table here is the detail comparison like name of mill action uh, drug product uses and not used for what so cutter mill action cutting product size 20 to 80 mesh uses fibrous crude like animal and vegetable drugs Uh, not used for friable uh, material then second one is roller mill action compression product size 20 to 200 mesh uses soft material not used for abrasive material hammer mill action impact product size 4 to 325 mesh uses almost all drugs not used for abrasive material disintegrator action impact 
प्रोडक्ट साइज ट्वेंटी टू एटी में यूजेस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ड्रग्स इंक्लूडिंग वेरी हार्ड ड्रग्स नॉट यूज फॉर सॉफ्ट एंड स्टिकी मटेरियल बॉल मिल एक्शन एट्रिएशन एंड इम्पैक्ट प्रोडक्ट साइज ट्वेंटी टू टू हंड्रेड में यूजेस ब्रिटल ड्रग नॉट यूज फॉर सॉफ्ट मटेरियल फ्लूड एनर्जी मिल एक्शन एट्रिएशन एंड इम्पैक्ट प्रोडक्ट साइज वन टू थर्टी माइक्रोमीटर यूजेस मॉडरेटली हाई हार्ड एंड पायबल मटेरियल नॉट यूज फॉर सॉफ्ट एंड स्टिकी मटेरियल एज रनल मिल एक्शन क्रशिंग एंड शेयरिंग प्रोडक्ट साइज ट्वेंटी टू एटी मेश यूजेस ऑलमोस्ट ऑल ड्रग्स नॉट यूज फॉर स्टिकी मटेरियल The basic principle governing selection of degree of size reduction are as follows. First, drug required to be administered in powder and suspension in mixtures are reduced to fine powder. Second, drugs to be injected in suspension form are reduced to very fine powder. Third, drugs which are to be extracted need size reductions which depends upon following factors. First one is solvent or menstruum. Second one is drum. drug menstruum ratio third one is physical characteristics so what is solvent or menstruum water has more penetration power than any other organic solvent such as alcohol 60% or more therefore higher degree of size reduction is required with alcoholic as a menstruum than with water drug and menstruum ratio the rate of solution is greater in case of large than smaller volume of solvent moreover size reduction of a solute also has an the solution formation therefore the preparation preparing of weak penetration preparation the entire drug or post grade of drugs can be used for the for a stronger penet uh, preparation fine degree of size reduction is required then third physical characters of drug and localization of the constituent the menstruum is closely slowly penetrated into hard body drugs than into soft drug therefore in case of hard body drug it becomes necessary to reduce them to fine powders than in the coarse or soft drug for the same process of extraction and menstruum the localization of active principle is an important factor in deciding the degree of size reduction of drug for example active constituents of digitalis leaves are localized chiefly in the harder tissue of leaves and hence require a fine degree of size reduction d is the process in infusion and decoction process the menstruum used in water and the drug menstruum ratio is large as such there is no need of higher degree of size reduction in the case of maceration and percolation process the drug and menstruum ratio is comparatively smaller than for infusion and decoction therefore a higher degree of size reduction is required the same is also used essential in case of menstruum is alcohol and extraction process is percolation so levigation and lutrition so what is levigation it is the process of wet grinding the material is converted into paste with water and then grinding of paste is done in a mortar using a flat headed pestle in case of large scale grinding it is done by using colloidal mill or a mill resembling an age runner mill the process is used for the preparation of light kaolin chalk red and red and yellow mercuric oxide calamine and camphor etc after the process of levigation the paste often contain a fine particles along with small proportion of coarse particles the fine particles are separated from coarse particles by the process of elutration what is elutration is the process of separation of fine particles and coarse particles from the paste obtained after levigation the paste is mixed with a large volume of water and the mixture is allowed to stand for short period during which heavy coarse particles with high density settle down on the bottom of the vessel and the fine particles with low density remain suspended in upper layer of the liquid the upper liquid is poured off and fine particles are allowed to settle down on the bottom the wet paste containing 
fine particles is then dried in small scale grinding conical flask can be used but on a large scale attraction tanks are used thank you